Hey guys, Greg Gentini here with Detective Chem. I'm here to talk to you about the best ways to sample different types of drugs and narcotics using the Mobile Tech pouch in the Mobile Tech app. We're gonna show you how to do a kilo, we're gonna show you how to do wax paper, corner bag, all the main different types so you can sample the safest way. What I'm here to talk to you guys about today, different ways to sample with the least amount of exposure to the actual um, suspected drug or narcotic inside the packaging. There's various best practices, whether you're doing a, a corner bag, Ziploc, wax paper, kilo, BHO, dab, shatter, whatever it may, may be. So we're gonna start out with the corner bag today and the way to do this without having to open it. So always keep in mind, you want to try to swab the area that has had the closest proximity to the inside material. So for a corner bag, that's gonna be this area right above the knot. Generally, when it's being packaged, there will be some residue in there. So what I recommend with this is fan that knot out as best you can. Kind of twist it onto the swab like this in a circular motion. Generally, there'll be enough residue from inside the package on there that you'll be able to get a detection with that. If that doesn't work, I don't want to guarantee that's going to work every single time because there's variability depending on how how good the bad guys are at packaging the material. So if that doesn't work, you may need to make a slight tear and, and swab the inside material. But generally, the top works well. For a small Ziploc bag, or really any kind of Ziploc bag, these are pretty straightforward to do without having to go into the bulk sample. What you wanna do is you wanna open up just the top and you wanna insert the swab right into the top of the Ziploc before the seal. Just swab that right there. There's almost always enough residue there to be able to get a, a very solid detection. The same with trash pulls. If you've found something that uh, doesn't look like there's any residue in there whatsoever, that'd be the same type of application. Your typical wax paper um, taped up fold em ups are also quite easy. What you're gonna wanna do Take out your knife, something sharp. Just make one cut within the liner there where it's sealed. And again, inserting this right down into the folds. All of that material is within the folds. And these actually fit quite well right into there. So you'll definitely get enough sampling material on there, inserting it into the folds of the wax paper. Now kilos can be challenging. Bad guys are smart to throw off the dogs, they'll wrap these up in, in oil and diesel fuel, they'll multi-package them, anything to really throw the dogs off. So the most tried and true practice is taking a safety pin or something sharp. What you wanna do is you wanna be able to have something puncture down through to the actual drug or narcotic that's inside. So I take my safety pin, I puncture down into the kilo, Pull that out, swab, just swab the tip of that pin or knife, whatever you've used to puncture in there. That is all you need to be able to then use the pouch to get a determination of the drug that's inside. Dab, shatter, uh, even vape pen fluid, toothpick, cotton swab, whatever it may be. And this would be the same for um, final reaction in a one pot meth cook with the Coleman fuel. Just something that you can just get a little bit of the liquid on there, wipe that liquid on the pad, and that's all you have to do. So those are the main packaging materials that we see, and those are the best ways to do it. For more information, visit Detecticam.com.